everybody, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to share my uh, package, my design team package from Cheaply Chic. Um, Lynette has a shop on Etsy and uh, I'm part of the design team. So this month, this is what she sent me. This kit is called So Crafty and I have to say I love it. This is a gorgeous journal. Um, I've done two, you know, this is my second uh, month on the team, so I'm really loving what Lynette has done this time. This is totally me. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And then she's got the little quilted bits. This, this is a beautiful, beautiful journal to work with. So I thought really quickly we'll go through what the contents are, and then we'll get started. Um, you get some coordinating scrapbook paper. I love that design. <laughs> That's gorgeous. And then this was a note from Lynette. Uh, thank you, Lynette. That was really sweet. And you get <coughs> a bag of goodies. She gives you some, look at the buttons, beautiful. And some fibers. <coughs> a little glassing bag. <coughs> you can always use those over here because we can't... Uh, get our hands on glassing bags. Um, oh, look at this. Isn't that beautiful? She's pinned all that together. It's a really nice kit. You've got everything that you need to work with in this journal. And she's always um, including lots of little extras. Got your tags. Oh, look at that playing card. That's beautiful. I never run across beautiful playing cards like that, but I see them all the time, um, you know, when people are showing. Now this I am absolutely crazy about, and I'd love to get my hands on some of those. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? And that's about a four and a half by three inch envelope. That is absolutely amazing. And then you get this beautiful, I love that little coin envelope, that's cute too, nice quality. Yeah, I have to say that's the difference, um, the quality of the, the coin envelopes in the U.S. is really good. Uh, we've got some similar stuff here, well they're not quite, but they're small, but they're thin. It's almost like paper, um, so they're not great, so I'm always excited. I love when I get these things. Look at that. She stamped those. Aren't those beautiful? She must have some gorgeous stamps. <coughs> I like that. 1964. I wish that was 1967. I would have kept that for myself because um, that, that's my birth year, 67. Is. Those are cute. And that this, I can never get my hands on these either. So this is a great kit, and I love that paper. Time card. I always love those. I've got a whole box of those in the U.S. <laughs> a lot of good they're doing me here. And then she's included all this um, sewing pattern paper, so that's awesome. I've, I've got something in mind um, this week with that, and then an old pattern instruction as well. Beautiful. She's got gorgeous um, look at this. From All from sewing. Isn't that nice? Beautiful. Beautiful papers. Oh, I just love it. Absolutely love it. And look at this page. That is so retro. I love that. Okay guys, so that is our kit. Let me get organized, and I'll be back. And we're gonna we're gonna start our spread in this this month's um, TN. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys. <clears throat> For time purposes, what I've decided to do is I've went ahead and cut these down to create some pockets on this front cover. I like I I loved this pattern. But I like the buttons as well, so I think that's going to be a really nice three pocket on the front. So I'm taking this to the machine, I'm going to sew it, and then we'll come back in and start decorating these two. Okay, guys, I'm running that through the machine, so that's how that looks. I'm going to get that adhered so that can start drying. So 
so I hope everybody had a really nice weekend. We um, went on Saturday to a new farm over in Wales to get our milk and we combined it with um, a uh, hike or walk, you know, and but it ended up being a hike. It, it was pretty um, pretty steep. So yeah, it was a struggle for me because I haven't had a really good walk like that. It's been a while, but it uh, we really enjoyed it. It was it was a beautiful view when we got up off on the top. If you follow me on Instagram, I I posted some of the photos from it. Um, so that was really nice, and uh, and then we just had a picnic lunch, and uh, beautiful weather. It was just perfect for it because it was cool enough that, you know, you were comfortable while you were doing the hike. Okay, so over here, I really like this, so what I thought on this page is that I want to take this and turn it into like a little flip-out pocket, but I want to save that, <coughs> this image, because I want to use that. If I don't use it on this pocket, I might use it elsewhere. Uh, let's see here. That still may be too big. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do... Let me just make sure you guys are seeing all this. I'm just going to fold that to to the um, edge of that writing. And then I'm going to score that to create... Actually, I could come a bit further. I will make that slightly bigger. And just I like to make a, a hinge with that, the edge of that paper. I'll just pull that out. Yeah, that's better there. So what I think I'm going to do, because that's going to be adhered to the to, to that side so that that'll flip over, I'm going to run a stitch down here and just across there, because I think I'm going to open it up on this side, but let me think, how can I do that? Because I want to have a top pocket here, but a side pocket here, I think. I think that might be cute to have a little tag that just hangs over. So let me think. Let me just run. <clears throat> I've not done this before, so I hope this is going to work. I think I'm just going to try to put... Let me see if I've got a uh, utility knife here. I've got one, but I don't know if this is probably dull. I'm going to try just to run a little opening. Yeah, that blade is extremely dull. So let me run to the machine again. I'm going to run a stitch across here, down here, and then I'll be back. Okay, let me show you what I've done here now. Um, be because of the way I've created that opening, I thought I better... I was afraid of just one stitch, so I've reinforced that, hoping that that will, um, will not cause that paper to rip. I don't know, I've never done one like this before, so I'm hoping that that's going to work, but I like the idea of that. And then I might even come back. I think I might add that image. I just love that image. Isn't that beautiful? I think I'm going to add that to that. <clears throat> so let me just cut this down.
going to trim some of this off a bit. This, I must change that blade. It's getting so dull. I don't know, I'm going to set that to the side because I don't know yet. Um, but I'll go ahead and get this <coughs> secured in and then we're going to start working on some tags and, and things for it. So, let's see, so that was Saturday, we did that and that was pretty much most of the day that wore us both out. And then yesterday we got up and um, went to the local car boot because you know I do two through the summer there's two on but the other one's hmm, probably 15 miles maybe well the last two weeks it's been off because of um, the field that it's in they're getting it's too too you know soft because of the rain here so that one was called off anyways but um, our local one, there wasn't a very big turnout, so I didn't buy anything the last two weeks. I haven't, uh, which is probably good. I really don't need anything else right now. It's, it's just got to be a super good deal. Um, but I, I am still <coughs> always looking out for nice um, vintage laces, and that's getting more and more difficult to find as you guys are... I'm sure very much aware. Okay. Well, there really is nothing needing to be done to that tag. That fits in that back one perfectly, and I love that standing out. So I'm just going to actually put some lace. Oh, I love these fibers she's included. Really pretty. So yeah, yesterday, what did we end up doing? We took Daisy for a walk and, um, you know, just kind of things around the house. Let me get some. little bit of this trim left. I'm going to add that with some of that white fiber. So that, it was a lazy day yesterday in all fairness. I just, I worked on the kitchen. I redid all the cabinets and cleaned them ready for, um, you know, kind of like a fall cleaning. And just odd little jobs that had gotten, you know, needed doing and had gotten away through the week. So, Nothing very exciting. It was kind of a, a relaxing weekend, which has been nice because um, it's been pretty full on now for <clears throat> a couple of months. This is such a sweet kit. More thumbs today. <clears throat> for here. We need to do some embellishing here. A couple of tags there. Then, I don't know. I'm going to have to think what to do. I know I want to make a bit of a cluster, I think. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That comes... That might be pretty, actually. Oh, I do like the idea of that. But I think it might be nice against a piece of this. So that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, let me just tear a little bit of this. I love the idea of that. I'm just 
to break up some of that book page. I think that might be pretty just to have that. Yeah, let's get some, uh, get some glue stick because that's pretty thin paper there. <coughs> Oh, that is pretty. I like that. Okay, I'm going to put that down. Let me get a bit of my 3-in-1 here. Okay, let me see. <clears throat> you know what I'm thinking on this? I had been wanting, and this is going to be very tedious, and I probably won't put you guys through watching this. I have been wanting to save some of my favorite buttons, like that for example, I like that. I like when I can find like a square one, and I'm sure that I started collecting some of my favorite ones and put them someplace safe, but now I don't know where that is. But I was just thinking how nice would it be to have, hang on. Like that. Maybe smaller. I was thinking it would be really pretty to have some really pretty decorative buttons. I mean, okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use what is in the kit for this. But I've seen on Pinterest where you can take, because <clears throat> I've got a couple of the square buttons, and I love those because they're so unusual. And I, like I said, I don't know what I've done. I know I started saving these. But anyways, I think what I'm going to do, I saw somebody had done <clears throat> just a plain, <clears throat> like a, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm kind of scratchy throat, um, a bit of scrapbook paper, but it, nothing that would take away. And they had done a display of the buttons within a frame. And I think I'm going to do that, but... Gosh, I'm off on a whole other tangent. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys, but this is how the process goes for me. I think you probably know that by now. Um, I start off on one thing and then I'm off on it. So that's a whole other project, so I'm sorry. I have to digress again. So, for the purposes of this, although <clears throat> I was thinking that that's too big, it would cover up too much. So what I want to do is to see if I can make a smaller ruffle. And then I'm going to sew some buttons on that. So let me um, go make a really tiny ruffle quickly, and then I'll be back. And uh, I'm going to sew some of these to it and see how that looks. Yeah. Okay, I'll be back, guys. Okay, guys. I'm back. 
And I made this tiny, isn't that? Oh, I love it. It's like a little baby ruffle. So I think I'm going to, I don't know. I wanted it there, but I feel like it covers up too much of the, um, uh, the words just not coming to me. I don't know. That die cut, what's it, that shape? I don't know. I'm sorry, I'm just out of it today. Yeah, something's been really bothering me all weekend, and I've been in two minds as to whether to bring it up on my channel or not, and I, I, I don't know. I hope I don't regret doing this, but I just feel like, uh, I just feel like I need to say something. There is so much negativity going on in this community, and I am just to the point, I just don't even want to get on Facebook anymore. I'm just, I don't know. I don't know what's happened. Well, I do know what's happened, and I, and I don't think anybody has said what's happening, but I'm going to say it, and, you know, this may make a lot of people angry, but I'll be honest, I'm to the point, I just don't care. We are starting to experience a whole lot of people who are coming into this just to make money. And I think this is where all of the friction is coming from because um, you got a lot of people who are jumping on to the bandwagon and they're not giving back anything to this. They're just, the only time they ever post a video is if they're selling a journal. They never do any tutorials. Um, they're not engaging within the groups, and I, I will say, yes, I'm not engaging much at all anymore because um, I'm just finding it, it's just too, too much conflict going on within the groups at the moment, so I've really been staying away from it. And like I said, I'm, this may irk people. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. <clears throat> and this is my opinion. I think this is where uh, the conflict is coming in. Is uh, all of these people who think they can just come in here and make money. And they're not offering anything back. And the other thing, I'm going to even go a bit further. And th this will this is all you'll hear about this because I am not going to uh, let this dominate my channel, but it has bothered me this weekend. The other thing I'm seeing a lot of is begging, and not begging in a direct way, but remarks of, oh, you know, I really wish I had that. Oh, I can't, I don't have access to that. And you know what? I don't think there's anybody on here that got into crafting with a um, fully stocked craft room. It's taken uh, 30 years for me to get what I've built up. And that is scrimping and saving so that I could purchase tools for my hobby because this was a hobby it's not a hobby for me now um, this is this is my business this is our only source of income and this didn't just happen overnight this has been like I said 30 years and beyond that I've been crafting so I understand you know there's times I I see things and think oh yeah that's really awesome I want to get that but it's the way people are saying it that it's just, um, t 
to me, it's coming across like they're, you know, they're wanting somebody to send them these things, and, and that doesn't sit well with me. Because a random act of kindness is when you do that randomly, and not because somebody's asked for something, or, you know, every time they post, it's, you know, I don't have, I don't have, I don't have. Well, we didn't either, but you can still make beautiful things with just everyday household items. So that's another thing that's that's been bugging me, and I just think, I just am really, really sad to see where it's all going. Um, I had, and I'm not going to name names, but I had somebody message me this weekend, really upset over... Um, hateful remarks on her channel and you know I understand it because I've had them and it's not nice it's not nice that this is happening but I'll tell you I don't like it but the trolls don't bother me what bothers me is people who you think are your online friends that you think are supportive of you and you find out actually it's becoming very cutthroat. So I would just say don't trust everybody guys um, that's in this group because not everybody is as genuine as they like to let out and I, I really do not want to have this conversation because I, I it, it saddens me to be going down this path but it's bothered me. I've been wanting to say something for a while. You may have noticed last week um, one of my tutorials was very um, chopped up in the edit, but I had to edit out because I had gone on a complete rant. Um, and I thought, no, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do this. So I edited it out and everything was very broken. You may have noticed it. Um, and like I said, I'm not going back to that because I'm not going to name names. I, I'm not into all that crap. Um, but <clears throat> there's just a few things that have really been bothering me. And um, I just feel like it's time to say something about it because there's a lot of people who are starting into this and they just need to be aware um, I'm a very giving person, and it's been taken advantage of in the past, and I, I'm, I'm, you know, you wise up, don't you? You really quick learn um, that there are people, unfortunately, here who will take advantage of that generosity. So, it's a shame, but it changes you. It definitely changes you. And uh, just be aware of that, guys, because... It is happening. This place isn't just, uh, not everybody here is honest and uh, genuine. Some of them are just looking for things to be given to them. Um, okay, now we need to get some tags cut out. Three and a quarter on that one, and probably about four. Four, three and a quarter by four. All right, let me cut out some things and then we'll come back and work on those. Okay, guys, what I ended up doing, I she had given us this, this was one piece, so I just cut it down to make that fit because I like the um, the contrast with that hanging over. I think that's really pretty. So I'm going to put some fibers on that. This one I'm not going to because I don't want anything interfering with um, that closing the way it should. Yeah, that's that's cute. Uh, let's see here. While I was at the machine I had some of this uh, lace and I don't normally work with that color, so I thought, actually, I'm 
going to put that within the journal. I think that's really pretty because I love the colors in this. And that will look nice just hanging over. Mm, yeah, it's getting there. Okay, so anyways, um, yeah, another thing. And like I said, this uh, after this video, I'm not going to be bringing this up again. Um, Another thing that's really, really been bugging me is um, people who are not getting, giving credit to where they're getting their inspiration from. And I know we're all guilty, myself included. You know, <clears throat> a lot of stuff has been done over and over and over, and I get that. But when <clears throat> somebody has just remarked on a tutorial... or a journal and then they immediately do something and uh, cannot even acknowledge you or put a link to your channel uh, I just think it's pathetic and it's it's this is happening a lot and that's another thing I just think it's just I'm just really saddened by the way the whole thing's going. Um, like I said, the trolls, I think anybody who comes on YouTube, well, if you if you aren't prepared for it, let me tell you, get prepared because they are out there. Uh, it's pretty pathetic people who, I guess, don't have anything else to do but sit around and uh, rummage through YouTube videos and find somebody that they want to just make a nasty remark about. I mean, why? Why do people even have time to do this is what I don't understand. Don't people work anymore? You know, I mean, really, do you have 24 hours a day to just sit on the computer and try to make hateful remarks? It's, it's disgusting. So yeah, I'm afraid, guys, it's been building up, and um, today I'm just, I just feel like I, I've got to get this off my chest. Um, so yeah, if you're starting a channel, be prepared. They're out there, and they're going to come for you, but that stuff, like I said, that, it, yeah, it's not nice, but that doesn't bother me. It's the people within our community who who are just, I don't know, I don't know what's happening, but it's not nice. Okay, I like that, I feel like that kind of, you know, you got the blue there, I kind of like that, so I'm just going to put that down, <clears throat> and then I think really just work on this one, because I'm actually very happy with how that this has come out that way. I've got, I've got pay, room for journaling. Yeah, I really, really like how that's come out. I just want to do something here. And here I actually think I'm going to take a small snippet and form a little... Um, collage there. Maybe I like the idea of this big button. That is gorgeous. Look at that. Oh. So I think I'll do that. I'm just going to make a little I'm just going to tear a little bit of this and add it with a bit of um, a bit of lace. work. It must take Lynette ages to, to get all these kits put together because I, I know just gathering up book pages. I've tried to sell, you know, book pages in the shop and I'll be honest, it's not worth all the trouble. Particularly from here. If I was in the U.S. I'd probably do it more, but from here 
what you can charge on shipping, but my God, the time it takes. You, you, if you haven't done it, you just don't realize how time consuming that all is. So, bless her heart for going through and doing all this. And it's all that time of sourcing these things. Yeah, I like the idea of that button. Let me get a few more bits and pieces here. So anyways, like I said guys, I, I don't think I'm down. Uh, it's just been something that I've been, you know, really going back and forward whether to even bring this up. But today I just thought, actually I just want closure on it and I want to speak my mind. I, I know not everybody's going to agree with it. That's not what, what I'm asking. Um, it's just stuff, you know, there's just some stuff going on from people that are um, highly respected in this community that uh, I just, I don't know, it's, um, I just don't know, a lot of clicks being formed and all. I just, uh, I don't understand how people can be so insecure about um, their place that, um, I like that, yeah, I like that. That's all I can figure. It's just insecurity and jealousy that causes people to behave the way they are, but I am not getting involved in this garbage, and if it means uh, just staying off of the groups, then that's what I'm going to do, because I'm not getting tangled up in all this crap that's going on, and uh, I hate to do it, because, you know, you, you, there's a lot of inspiration on the Facebook groups, but like I said, it's just, to me, it's more negativity than it is positive these days, and I, I think it's, it's the people who are just in this for money, that's what I think. I love these big buttons. They just, I don't know. They're kind of like polka dots. Polka dots make me smile. So do big buttons. Oh, goodness. Let's see if I can get that tied off there. Sorry, it's hard to see. I have to pull it out of the camera range, I'm afraid. But kind of boring watching me stitch that anyway, so, so yeah, I'm just going to glue that there, and that should hold, and then I'm not going to fill this out today, because, you know, this is going to be my journal, <coughs> so I'm going to be uh, adding to this, because I'm definitely going to be working within this journal, this is a, I just, this one really, really, uh, struck a chord with me. I just think it is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. So pretty. Okay, guys. Let's see if there's anything else I want to do. I think what I might do temporarily, this isn't for the... It's not going to stay here, but just for my sake, my own sake, I'm going to put these things in the pockets, and then as I'm working in the journal... I've got everything right here, and it'll keep it all in one place, 
and I can come back to it. Yeah, this is a really sweet kit. Um, and then I've got some scraps and all this stuff I think I'm just going to tuck in here. Let me see if I can get any more. Oh yeah, this, we've got lots of little die cuts. So that's going to be fun. I can make some um, paper clips as well. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun to work in. So, let's see. Anything else I want to add to that front? I don't think I will because, as I said, um, as I start to work within the journal, I'll start filling this up. But there you go. That's um, We've got the three pockets on here, a little cluster. Then out of the book page, we've made this flip over. I've altered that slightly and made two pockets there and then added all of this and then on this page I went ahead and put that down but as I work through the journal this will start filling in and if I complete it <laughs> I will uh, definitely show you guys the completed bit. Let's see I've got some seam. She gives you the seam binding too. I love the colors. The corals and the turquoise, those are beautiful together. Okay, guys, so I'm going to put the link below to um, Lynette's shop, which is um, Cheaply Chic on Etsy. And if you're interested in this kit, she's got some of those in the shop ready to be shipped out to you guys. So I hope you have enjoyed this um, design team project. And stay tuned. I don't know. I haven't got any plans this week. I'm, I'm just going to see how things go. I've got to get on with some journals. I've got several um, orders to get finished up. And then I want to get some restock into the shop. So I'll be back uh, hopefully soon with some more ideas. You guys have a great week ahead. And I'll see you here soon. Bye.